What's up, everybody? What you just heard was my laptop's fans going crazy, and this is while the laptop is idling. I can't even record my voiceovers for my videos like this. Yeah, that's not normal. <laughs> In this video, I will show you how I took care of this issue. This is a 10-year-old Acer V3771G laptop. And I don't remember the last time that I cleaned the fans and changed the thermal paste on the CPU. So let's do that. Every laptop will have a different way to access the CPU cooler. This laptop pretty much requires me to tear it down. We go from this to this. Here is the keyboard and the drives. Here is the motherboard with the CPU heatsink and fan. I need to remove these four screws on the CPU and these other two screws on the GPU. Then disconnect the power cable to the fan. I need to clean off the old thermal paste on the CPU and GPU as well as the old thermal paste on the copper heatsink. But before I do that, I'm going to dust off the fan. There is tape connecting the fan to the copper heatsink. I remove it to get access. It's a little dusty, but not too bad. I'm using my shelf vac to dust it off. Then I used an old toothbrush to remove surface dust. I have some copper tape, so I'm going to use that to tape the fan to the copper heatsink. I'm spraying that dry thermal paste with my eyeglass cleaner. Then wiping off the paste. Same for the CPU and GPU chips. I'm also scraping off some of the old paste on the sides of the GPU. Now I'm cleaning all those surfaces with alcohol using a Q-tip. Lastly, I'm using a microfiber towel to wipe down all the surfaces. Thermal paste that I'm going to use is the Gelid Extreme because that's what I have. I'm going to use the dot method of applying the thermal paste. If you want to spread your thermal paste manually with a little spatula, you go right ahead and do that. You don't have to do this next part, but I like to make sure that the heatsink is making contact with the thermal paste. It was hard for me to get the heatsink to make contact with the paste on the GPU side because it needs to be screwed in. I screwed it in, and now I'm checking it for contact. Everything looks good. I'm tightening down the screws on the GPU. For the CPU, I'm going to tighten the screws in a crisscross pattern. I reassembled the laptop. Here's the before. Here's the after. In addition to the decrease in fan noise, there is also a noticeable performance improvement. So how often should you replace the thermal paste? Some people say once every two to three years. I plan to do it once every three to four years. Alrighty, time to get back to recording my voiceovers. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one.